Okay, I'm trying to smile at the start because I've had a couple of comments that say I always look really grumpy when live streaming starts and it's because I just have horrible resting face. And uh, there's always a little delay between me pressing the button and me seeing it, so I'm never quite sure when I'm actually live. Uh, also, if you guys can just tell me if we're all sounding okay, uh, then we can make sure everything is good to go. Uh, who have we got? Jaylene, Blue Red Gamer, Nath, Devin, uh, Jay Ranson, Majesk is also here, Susan, Sword in the Storm, uh, Chris, unsurprisingly insane, Gizmod, LJ, Ross, James, uh, Domino, uh, so I say, uh, James, Ross, yeah, I think, I think those were the, the early ones, which I've managed to get you all in, um, yeah, hi everybody, hi, as you all know, we're doing something a little bit different this week, the Thursday live streams, I always try to find you games that aren't quite out yet or upcoming and I try and show those. There isn't always, because obviously I'm asking people to give me their games before they're launched, it's not always possible. So we looked at the Tuesday checklist, which was underrated gems and you've all got them, right? You've all got a game that you love that maybe critically people don't agree with or maybe doesn't have the popularity you think it should have. The Big in Japan sale is currently on on the European PlayStation Store. I think it's called the Golden Week sale in America. I saw someone was from Texas, so you you can tell me. And James is there from Canada, so you can tell me if that's true or not. It's my favourite sale because some of my favourite underrated games all happen to be Japanese JRPGs or RPGs. So I decided to pick four of my favourite games from the Big in Japan sale and put them to a vote. Uh, we had Dragon Quest Builders, which if you like building games, I just, it's probably one of the best, by far. It's incredible. Uh, there was this World of Final Fantasy, Dragon's Dogma, which I actually thought would win it, and do not at me, but Dragon's Dogma is better than Skyrim. I, I, like, I don't care. It is just better than Skyrim. And uh, Loco Roco 2. I'm a huge Loco Roco fan. Uh, this one with 31% of the vote, Dragon's Dogma had 29%. So this one... So for anyone that doesn't know, um, yeah, this this is called World of Final Fantasy. It's a turn-based JRPG based Final Fantasy game. So it's an individual story, characters and world, just like every Final Fantasy game. But it's full, chock full of reoccurring characters and music and creatures that hardcore Final Fantasy fans will love. But it's like perfect if you're completely new. So don't worry, you can jump in if you're totally new to World of Final Fantasy. However, Unlike any other Final Fantasy, it's basically Pokemon. It's basically Pokemon. You have to catch them, prism unity them, and it, like rocks like three times and if you catch them, and then you can stack them, take them to battle. So we are on chapter two. I've skipped the prologue in chapter one. So if you do play it for yourself, I'm hopefully not spoiling all of the story, which I always think is really, really important. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good fun. Uh, I'd put Dragon's Dogma ahead of Skyrim. Sorry, Dominic. I am not a Skyrim fan. I like Dragon's Dogma. That is my thing. Um, so yeah, Final Fantasy Pokemon is, like on paper, that sounds great. So you know what? I'll run around here and find a little fight for us and then we'll get started. And in fact, I've paused it just before the, uh, like a really cool video. So, uh, am I finally gonna finish it? I'm actually, I was actually on the last boss of this game. At no Domino, there's only one save slot for this game. And I had to overwrite it to, um, to make this, this video today, so I'm not. Right, so if you're like me and you are a Far Fantasy fan, you can hold L1 and you can go into, or press L1 and go into classic battle menu, which is what I always do. So we're gonna use Libra, which is an old Far Fantasy move. It's like a scan. It was called Scan in Final Fantasy VIII, by the way. So this is a Mew. Uh, so, unlike Pokemon, this isn't about just making them weaker. You've got to do certain things before you can catch them. So for this one, we have to use a physical attack. We don't have to like get its health down, we just have to use a physical attack. So, um, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to hit it. Right, so now I can catch it. Honey, that's cute. Uh, now, if you're like me and you're a bit of an old school JRPG fan, there's a fast forward button, so you can fast forward. Uh, 
you can have an active time battle if you want. I don't like active time battles. Um, I just don't. Oh, don't move. Yay, we caught it! Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit childish, but how could you attack that little guy? It was me or him, Fitz. It was me or him, all right? Um, as always, welcome to our moderators. We have uh, the PlayStation moderation team who are moderating under the access name. Uh, we've also got FF Gamer and Domino who are our community mods. So uh, please respect the rules and respect them at all times. Uh, and me, I'd really like it if, uh, if you respected me as well. Uh, you want the God of War console? Right, so these creatures level up a bit like Pokemon. And really, this is like, really what it is. It's not cross by, Nikolai, it's cross save. And it will automatically throw your save up whenever you save as well, as long as you're online. So you can see this is the smallest version. It can go medium and large, so it can evolve. Um, yeah, it's not very strong. It doesn't weigh an awful lot. And all of these things matter. Right. We're gonna name it. Nathan, Rob, Dave, or Dan. What should we call it? <laughs> I I feel like it's a Dave looking at it. What do we think? That, I, I mean, I wanna call it Dave, but I will take your lead. I think we're gonna have a nice quiet live stream today so we can actually chat to each other in the chat. Do, do, Domino, Delson, Delson wasn't an option. <laughs> <laughs> Rules are for suckers. It's all about I'm all about human decency, right? I appreciate that my friend sword in the storm says Dave Everyone says Rob. I do think he looks like a Dave Muggle also says Dave. Dan Dave definitely Dave then it's a Dave. All right, Dave. Come on Looks good Gary <laughs> save all these we're gonna try and catch lots and lots of them today, so we're gonna need names Dave, look at the face, see? So now that we've caught it, I'll very quickly show you how this works. So there are two forms, Giant and Lilikin. Now I always carry one character as Giant and one character as Lilikin. And this affects your stacks and stacks are all about how you battle in this game. So if I'm in the Lilikin form, I'm a medium, which means I can only put a large one in this stack. If I'm as a giant, I actually need a medium. So I've currently got a Choco Chick on my head, which I caught earlier. But what I could do is add Dave. And Dave is on my head. And then I can use Dave's moves and our HP and everything is combined because we're in a stack. So what I'll do is I might put Dave on my head for this one and Choco Chick on, on this one. We'll do that. All right, Dave, let's roll out. So we're quite early in the game, so you're going to see lots of story stuff. Um, but I thought this was a perfect place to start because it's a really nice opening movie. And who doesn't have an opening movie? I mean, it's not a Final Fantasy game without an opening movie. Uh, yes, it's basically chibi. But we call them Lilikins in this game. And it has all your favourite FF characters in it as well. Choco Chick is super cute. I always called them Chickabos. Because I read it in a fan fiction when I was younger. It, it, talent, it can get really deep. It's really good. We're at the very beginning, pretty much. Chapter two. I'd love a sequel to this. I always felt bad. This game got announced the same time at the same E3 conference as Final Fantasy VII. No. Can I speak Japanese? I can speak enough to order another glass of plum wine at the bar and to apologize for my behavior. Is this my room? It's my office, it's not my room. So this is 
I guess you'd call it the London office. Does Vivi appear in the game? Yes, David, she does. Taking a Yakuza break. What's your first ever Final Fantasy? I don't mind Faz, it's, it's all for this, it's all for uh, us here on Access, so I don't care. As long as there's chocobos in it. If we can get a big enough chocobo, then we can ride it. Gomenasai, I use that a lot. Although I think Suima sends a better dual word. Where's the Witcher 3 wall? That's in the living room. I have uh, two and a half shelves of Witcher collectibles. Uh, and a couple of frames, uh, limited edition Witcher prints. Mystic Messenger, Becca, yes! Yes! <laughs> uh, I do when the only thing I know how to say in Japanese is Suimasen, uh, umeshu roko kudasai. Or moichido umeshu roko kudasai. Which is, can I have one more plum wine on the rocks? Welcome outside. <laughs> Love that. Final exams this week. Good luck with your exams. Chapter two. Uh. Told by prophecy. Linoshi, no, actually, thirteen. That doesn't make you a bad person at all. We all start summer with Final Fantasy games. Uh, I actually think Lightning Returns is in my top five Final Fantasy games. Uh, Lightning Returns is incredible. Do I have the Witcher books? I do, but I only have the English ones. Hey sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. Uh, actually, I do believe it because I'm exactly the same as you, Wow, dude. Uh, now anyone who knows me knows that uh, my favorite Final Fantasy creature is a cactuar. I bloody love cactuars. Totally the same game, David. Uh, this game on Vita is exactly the same. I, I'm with you. I want a Final Fantasy VIII remake. You think we're supposed to get on? Sorry, I'm opening a can of coke. <laughs> Line of Returns was basically Majora's Mask meets Final Fantasy, and I'm a huge Majora's Mask fan. Oh, hey, sis. Let's park it here. Sure. I like the uh, the time mechanic. It felt pressurizing at first, uh, like it did with Majora's Mask. But... I cannot read that, Jax. I cannot read that. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cactuar necklaces are official. They're on the PlayStation. PlayStation. They're on the Skronix store. I love Tomberries, but they're very rare. Right. Tickets, please. Ten is my second favorite Final Fantasy game. No, it hasn't, unsurprisingly. I don't have that. Oh, that cactuar. So on that shelf behind me, there's a cactuar section, and my little statue of him is up there. On one of these in swells. Yes, they can, Kobo. Right Pleasant journey. Where did those tickets come from? I, I, I mean, I don't blame you, the guy. I'm 31 next week, and I, I would still happily be a black age if I got the choice. So why a semi lifetime pass, and not a lifetime one? Semi lifetime passes. <laughs> he is very cute. And the debate that was going on from Last Freddy Feature. I didn't see the Last Freddy Feature. I've seen so many Friday Features. Well, Shay, don't get in trouble. I appreciate you watching, but no getting in trouble, please. Not wrong with a bit of Moana. Better that than Frozen. 
Yeah, I'm 31 on Wednesday. So it's Dan is the youngest, then me, then Rob. Then Nathan Dave, I think. I always get Nathan Dave mixed up. Rob's about five months older than me. So he was 31 in December. Just gone. A fest six is a strong choice. Um, I've definitely spent the most time playing eight because I've replayed it a lot growing up, but uh, it's my favorite for lots of reasons. Yes, let's get them. Actually, the prelude music for 14 might be the nicest version of the prelude. So, Fuzzy, you can if you want to just be big the whole time. Later on, it doesn't really force you too much to be Lilikin, but it does affect your stack setups. So if you go into battle as a large one, that means you're the large in your stack, so you couldn't say add a behemoth or Fenra to your stack because you've already got a large, it's you, which means you could only use mediums and smalls. Where if you're the Lilikin version, you can then use smalls and larges. The, now, Mon, don't you know what's yeah. at stake? Hey, Xavier, welcome to your first stream with us. See how you like this. Uh, no, no, I'll be I'll be live streaming on Thursday as normal. I think though, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to Libra the Goblin Guard for me. Not done yet. That is a fantastic fact, uh, Daily Jones. So, these goblins, what have we got? He is weak to water, weak to light, resistant to fire. Well, I haven't got any of that I'm too early in the game. Have I played 12? Yeah, and you know what? I couldn't get on with the battle system. Loved it. Loved the world, the music, the characters. Loved so much about it, but I could not get on with the battle system. You're done. If you were starting Final Fantasy, I would tell you to start with 15. It is specifically designed to be a starting place. And then after that, if you enjoy 15, then I would tell you to come back into the more traditional, and I'd go to 10. That is normally my advice to people. So if you're like me and you're impatient, you can hit the touchpad and it will go into auto. And then if you hold R1, you can fast forward and it'll just get on with it. It's quite good. <gasps> Man, it's not rubbish. Libra, like the sign, but I'm a Final Fantasy VIII player. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's called scam. Imprisoning failed. I cannot say your name properly. So I'm not even gonna try, I'm just gonna embarrass I'm just gonna insult you if I try. What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? I've been out of man toys. Just go back in with the ring. That means it's the beholden to another keeper. The what? The O? The smell? No! What I mean is the Mirage already has another the master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. <laughs> that is a bit weird, squishy more. Oh, fire whoever wrote that little hook in. Come on, it's nay on the fourth wall stuff. <laughs> Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Baha motion soldiers? <laughs> My is eight. Eight's actually my favourite game of all time. More than just um, favourite Final Fantasy. It's my number one. It's the game that made me a gamer. Like for sure. Sure. Well, uh, Shiva, and actually specifically Tens Shiva, uh, which is the whole. Well, I, love. I wouldn't. I mean, actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. 
This is the full game. We're playing the full game now, final. So we're on chapter three. Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm like exuding all over. Man, you don't even know what exude means. <laughs> there is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly stop by Castle Cornelia? So let's find this Casa Cornelius place. Oh, Casa mean up? well, it didn't it? Wasn't it up. Rob's mum's feet? Well, you still got the direction correct. Even if the rest of that was completely off the base. That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. Can I down here a second? So there's loads of little things like this. So for example, if I was in Lilikin form, I can't reach this chest. But if I'm in giant form... Oh, I'm playing with the wrong character. There we go. Old cult fan. Again, for Final Fantasy fans. So yeah, you can change the size of either character and you can also change which is the character you're actually using on the world map. Whatever you want. I don't know if we'll see VV in today's live stream. I can't quite remember, I don't think so. We'll see. What's up guys? Nice armor. Leave them alone, please. The longest to beat? <sighs> They're honestly main story in a lot of them is the same, but the older one's the longest to beat because you've got to grind. Which is a very old, like, 90s thing to do. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. <laughs> Hello. Wait. Doom train! Like we had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister. We'll see more of the battle system in this live stream of just like how deep it can potentially go. First, I suspected that you might be agents sent here. Hey, Flying Thunder, good evening. I'm a big Dynasty Warriors fan, Dominic. But mm, didn't enjoy the last one as much. I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really? Stop, you're so modest. Still, from the Philippines, I always wanted to go there. You didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the instanding types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that instanding is. So giants used world. to be in this world, <laughs> but they aren't anymore. Forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk mm. going on about some. Because I play JRPGs too. like so much oh, growing up, I always will set myself like I have to be this level before I can leave the town. And I do the same in Pokemon. I have to be this level before I can reach Celadon City. And you see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Modern JRPGs yes. don't tend to have the grind in the same way because the they've just eliminated that. And municipalities have Good afternoon, Jack. Welcome. Argentina. Oh, that sounds cool. Game. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made a <laughs> I mean, to <laughs> you've really sent St. St. Louis to me. But we have held our ground. Australia and Belgium. And ah, so many nice operation. places. You mean like that Mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as exiters. Giants from the hills of a world, not I think so. We'll have a look in the um, options for you a bit later on. The game is currently on sale, Thomas. Um, links are in the video description. For, oh, they're not actually. I didn't put a link in. Sorry. Uh, it's 50% off currently on the PlayStation Store. Panama City, Panama. Better late than never, Allison. Well, at least I'm dumber than you. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I've been to Dundee. I got snowed in there once. I had to sleep on this uh, gym floor because we spent we trapped on the road for like 16 hours. I have never been back. Thank you, FF Gamer. Jedi, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, someone was complaining that they didn't like tuning into my streams because I play with my hair too much. Um. 
situation is really so terrible. Why have so many countries? But then there's is people comment on the videos when I don't wear my hair down, I don't make enough effort, so I can't win. Are now firmly under the Federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives. I like digital. Ever since I got a Vita, I've gone almost completely digital. This is physical though. This was a, a disc I was sent, so this is a physical version. But I'm a almost digital entirely, if I if I could be. So there was a queen of the keepers. Sounds like she was pretty powerful. You're in an NT community. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So nine, nine is my least favorite. Questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws, adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you. I don't have the room. I like my house is already full of stuff to, to have video game like boxes on top of that. I just May I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh, apparently at one time we can <gasps> Yes, I recommend Life is Strange. Get on that. We lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back we might stumble on oh yeah, Fezzi, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the... If you were a character in Final uh, Fantasy, I'd have to go by Phoenix. That's my online handle. Uh, we'll I've always been in the Phoenix. Best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Because we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have been sighted in the Nebula. You may well end up dead. Good. That's a strong start. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost call. Yakuza! Honestly, if you haven't played the Yakuza series, both Zero and Kiwami are on sale. Like, that's nuts. Why just me? What did I do? God of War gameplay? Oh, that was last week's live stream. Tales games have a very special place in my uh, heart, Corey. I, uh, I worked on Grace's F, uh, Abyss, Grace's F, Zillia, and Zillia 2. Yeah, I did Nino Kuni on my personal Twitch. Uh, I actually did a live stream, I think. Yeah, I did a live stream on Access, and then I played it on my personal Twitch. It looks like we'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Uh, I'd be what I play in. Um... What a funny way to build a town. <laughs> oh, it's not that the strange to the people. <laughs> I'd be a warrior. I always play a uh, warrior class, tank class. That's what I play in fourteen. Love a side quest. Say, you wouldn't have Nagoya! From the hills by any chance, would you? You see, oh, I want to go back to Japan so bad. Persona 4 or 5. Mm, if you're playing on Vita, if you have a Vita, get Persona 4 if you've never played it. If you don't, jump into 5. If 5 is excellent. It's under Holly B. Uh, which is my Twitch handle. Why have you got a fish on your head? If we cooperated with other powerful countries, you have a fish you on your head. Of, I wonder if there aren't any powerful countries or organizations out. Literally, have a fish on your head. Ah, oh, yes, that's summer. Well done. I haven't played Ori. I haven't, thing? sadly. Yeah, last night's Yakuza livestream was uh, back in intense. You see, the 
I mean, because I've only there's only roast beef in my house. There's no fish here. I would have a fish on my head. I could try putting a fat chocobo on my head. That's all I've got is a fat chocobo. I play on Moogle, enemy. I play on Moogle. I'm in the Nashi Red Wings. It's my uh, my free company. But surely a means of transportation that handy must come with a catch. No, the catch. You can use the gate as the little or much as you like. What's more, time in here and time in Grimoire. Yeah, a single playthrough of Persona 5 is about 90 hours. Uh, like you can't rush that. That's that's ju that's just the game. Yeah, Chelsea, I am. I've never played Shenmue, so I'm really excited. Really irresponsible magic. Just imagine revisiting any place we've been. I don't know. I just I've always had red hair. So when I was in high school, we used to be allowed to play Quake on the school land. Uh, computer land. Uh, so I wanted a really aggressive name, so I called myself Phoenix Blood. Uh, and I'm dyslexic, so I spelled Phoenix wrong. Uh, and then as I grew up, I dropped the blood and changed it to B, Phoenix B. Uh, and that's pretty much what I use across all online, where I, I'm not my real name, I use Phoenix B. Uh, apart from Twitter and Twitch, where I use Holly B. Uh, Huh? Nasty Red Wings are my, uh, my FC. So these are how we basically we travel. You can warp. It's not open world um, in the general sense. Um, it's not like that. Okay, to the Nether Nebula. I say let us play. I think they turned a blind eye to us playing um, more than let us. It would disappear on and off the school systems every now and again. If you get poisoned in battle, the toxins will <laughs> That stands for Bennett. It just happens to work that way. I'm quite lucky. Uh, we just had a, uh, sh uh, a shirtless fight with uh, the Korean guy in Yakuza 6. That's where we are. For that. I'll give you some idea. It's a little stu stuttery again, isn't it? I did ask the uh, the team over at um, XSplit for advice, and they didn't really they didn't really give me any. It's definitely stuttering, isn't it? Chapter three. Old acquaintances. Yeah, it's coming out in au au autumn. Uh, sorry, autumn. In August, Eric. Uh, I announced it. Yeah, I, I did the uh, live stream with Sato San to announce it. Yeah, last night's stream was great. So we can see like the map area, but it's not it's not that super open world. Just don't hustle so much that you get yourself lost, okay? I might just leave you there. <laughs> When's the last time I got Don't push it. Okay. Uh for destiny. Ah, uh, for destiny. Yeah, if it doesn't get better, I'm going to do a quick reset of XSplit, which means just like in the God of War stream, wow. things will go uh, so go dark for a few minutes while I reset everything. Yahoo! You're a Yahoo! Wait, no, no, Rain, you need to shout for it to work. Yahoo! That's really pretty. I can't go that way. Fine. Where do you want us to go? Oh, that way. Come on then. Uh, uh, yeah, I reverted back and installed, well, I installed the public test, uh, which I thought would fix the problem, but it does not appear to have done that. Um, I've honestly, I've had it open and I've been playing all day without issue. Um, kind of annoyed. Yeah, we covered it a few times just before it came out. Um, but obviously not much since then. 
Uh, we've done quite a few videos without said Xbox, but we don't work anywhere near them, which makes it difficult. Um, I prefer English audio. I always have done. Best RPG or JRPG? Do you think you can do something about that habit of forgetting the name of virtually everything? Dungeon time. All right. There's another gate. That's the right. Gates they usually turn up in towns or at the start of most. Yeah, if you call Griever my ass, you uh, you'll uh, <laughs> Ultima Sea will say I junction Griever unto my ass. But that's a real long game because you've got to go to disc four for that. So. A shortcut, huh? So like, if we wanted to go back to Cornelia right this instant, we could just take this gate back to Ninewood Hills. Then we can take the gate from there to Cornelia. You see? All in all, it makes perfect mm, Norway was amazing. We were about an hour and a half outside of Bergen in Flam. You'd have to call it. You'd have to call it a bus cut. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what I'm just going to do, uh, Domino, if you can just let chat know, um, FF Gamer, I'm actually just going to quickly reset XSplit just because it is stuttering really badly and it's not the game. Um, it's, I can see it stuttering as it's coming into my XSplit feed. So I'm going to reset XSplit. That means the screen is going to go blank for you guys for about 30 seconds while we just reboot it. Uh, the stream's not going to drop. It's not going to go down. I should just reappear if you leave things running, okay? So, um... Because no one's having fun watching a uh, watching this a little bit janky. So give me give me literally thirty seconds to a minute, and we will be back. Okay. So don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Okay. That should, in theory, we should be back. She says, not one hundred percent sure. But we'll see. It makes it a bit difficult because I'm also obviously watching on the delay as well. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, it's just not really very fair on the game if it's coming through as a bit stuttery when it's it's really not. Uh, it is my X split. I'm gonna have a good chat to them. Um, I'm gonna have a good chat to them when we get off this stream because it is two streams in a row now and it does kind of suck that the games are coming out a little bit. Yeah, it still is. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. Man, I love a good adventure. Mm. I actually think Come it's on, worse. Sis. Let's follow this rabbit hole as far as it goes. Yeah, fine. Just behave yourself. Let me just one second. Okay, let's carry on. We're just gonna have to hope for the best, I think. We've got the advantage. <laughs> you won't know what hit you. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So, let's see what I need to catch them. Physical attacks, nice and easy. All right, hit it. Yeah, a little bit annoyingly, uh, XSplit had an update not so long ago, and ever since that update, uh, I'm getting terrible stuttering. And it's not the game, I can see it as it, as it feeds into XSplit, I can see the stutter, so before it even goes live. That's a little bit frustrating. Uh, wait. Get in the prism unity. I think this is. Ru rude. I'm gonna keep going. This is like a Pokemon. It just keeps breaking out. I'm not having it. It will lose its imprisonment in a minute. Ah, oh, rude little thing. This one, I'm de if we catch this, I'm definitely calling it Nathan.
This is Nathan. For sure, because he's been really difficult. Look how it's done to my health as well. Me just being childish and... Yeah, start Yakuza Zero is the place to start, 100%. <laughs> Nathan is as stubborn as I am. Oh, and Dave leveled up. Well done, Dave. Okay, name your Mirage. Dave. No, no, Rob. No, Nathan. What am I doing? Oh my god, Holly. Nathan. Looks good. There we go. Mm. Princess Mononoke. Princess Mononoke. For sure. But there's loads of beautiful ones. Like, I love Grave of the Fireflies, but it's too harrowing to watch, you know? Like, it just makes me cry. So, <laughs> I can't really pick that one. This dungeon is way more dungeony than I thought. Af after you play Yakuza 0, it's Yakuza Kiwami, which is a remake of number one. The tower in the castle? It's what they called the castle keep. How long has it been since I've heard Rain go off on one of her educational rants? She must be pretty upset. So why is that? The more upset she gets, the more she tries to cover it up by spouting random trivia. You know where the word trivia comes from? Sis, I think we're good. <laughs> Sleekstone. Yeah, we got this. I guess we're doing this. Yeah, yeah, you can't watch that on paint. So you right, we've got loads and loads and loads of different things. So I'm gonna take out the mini golem because I don't need Thanks it, I've just caught out. one, so that's fine. Uh I used to use OBS actually, and I had loads of problems with that, so I switched out to XSplit. It just seems to be in the last couple of days on XSplit. Ever since I did the update, basically. So I'm going to roll back again after this stream. I thought we fixed it last night. And honestly, I've had XSplit open all day uh, while I've been messing around on here just to check. And it was all right. But since going live, we've had a few issues. So um, not good. All right. What should we Libra? I love Mandagoras. I have a Mandagora plushie over there. So we need to physical attack for that one. And we don't know what we need to do for the others. Okay. I'm just going to be slightly careful. I'm like wasting all of my... Uh... Okay, so let's attack the Mandagora. See if we can just imprison it. Uh, no, cold. I I'm not. Uh, that is not my job. Oh, I should probably heal some people. Uh, <laughs> um, items. There we go. Oh, we're poisoned. Oh, that's not great, is it? Yeah. So, that little thing above my head means uh, we're wobbling. I'm just gonna try and imprison this Mandagora. Let's just get it done. Ugh. Okay, in the meantime, you can Libra the Copper Gnomes. I think I need them for something in this dungeon. Reduce the Mirage's HP. So for this one, I need to treat it like a Pokemon. That is fine. See how you like this. Take this. You for real? If this kills her, you're in trouble. Let's 
at that floating icon. Ponyo's amazing. New Orleans, one of my favorite places. I love New Orleans. Oh, we've wobbled, that's not good. Okay, that mandibore is just gone. All right, kids, stack back up. Lovely, there we go. I was gonna try and imprison them one by one. <laughs> I was gonna try and imprison the Mandagora and take it out of battle that way. Uh, but that just didn't work, so. Uh, yeah. That was what I was trying to do. No trouble at all. I love the boss fight uh, in the Pandora in disc three of FF8, where if you've got Odin, Odin comes down and Cypher just slashes Odin in half and then halfway through Gilgamesh comes down and it's so, it's so badass. You can unstack if you want, but I mean, I don't. I don't. Okay, so this is, this is a medium. What are we gonna name this one? I don't think it looks like a Rob. Personally. Should we, is it is it a Delson? What would we call this one? I need a name for it. I don't think it looks like Rob. We've got Dave and we've got Nath, but it's not a Rob. My favourite Final Fantasy character is Lightning. Always has been. Well, we've got a little Nathan. Okay, Gary Fist. Okay, Gary Fist. Looks good. But that was what was cool, because, like, you're taught Odin's, like, the badass. Renza couldn't, like, come in. Like, just destroy everything. And then Scythe just literally chops Odin in half. And you're like... Uh, what? And then obviously Gilgamesh drops and you're like, okay, this just got real. Gimme, gimme. What is Delsin? Delsin is a small badger sidekick that we have on PlayStation Access. Uh, Rob's sort of nemesis, if you will. Good, I need those potions because I've absolutely destroyed myself, quite frankly. Come on, bring. Let's cool, we don't need any of these, so we are just going to go town on them. Oh, I should actually watch my health though. Should have used those potions before I got into battle, quite frankly. Yep. You're out of here. Uh, yeah, so uh, Delsin Rodent is the name of the badger. Fully aware the badger is not a rodent, um, but it's the only way you can make the joke work. Uh, which is, of course, a play on Delsin Row, so which is the main character from Infamous Second Son. That is the, that is the premise of Delsin. Uh, and he wears, if you've ever bought Infamous Second Son Special Edition, the, the case, the, the video game case, comes in a little replica zip-up jacket of Delsin Row. Uh, and it just so happens to fit on a badger puppet. It's, I, I know, it's very... <laughs> I'm very aware that that's weird. Uh, but that is how we roll. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. So we've got a medium. So I'm playing as giant. So I can probably put Gary Fest in. So now I've got a stack. So now you can see how the stacks work. I don't think badges are rodents. Genuinely, I don't think they are. We've only got one medium, which is Gary. So we can't. Gary can't be in both stacks at once. So Gary's going to be in my stack. But we don't have any larges yet. No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that is the, the name of the joke. That's... I'd like to think, FF Gamer, you just knew that and didn't have to, like, wiki it. Oh, well, I'm glad, Kick. It's, I, when we do more live streams, because at the moment the Thursday live stream is usually about upcoming games. But what I would like to do is uh, do a stream called Underrated Gems, and each week we just pick a random game from the PSN that we're like, I love this game. That responds to mirages. The mirages you imprison the inside these caves should be able to help you out. Oh, where are you stuck? We can help you on Life is Strange. And lots of people in here have played it, so we can help you. All right, there is a reason. This is a reason we had to catch Gary Fist. So I need now to put enough little creatures on there with a weight of five of greater and earth resistance of 50 or greater. So, so we can put Dave on, but he's only got a weight of three, so he's not doing much. Now Gary, so we, we've hit that, so we've met the conditions. Because Gary's got an earth resistance of 75 and he weighs uh, five himself. Which means uh, we can activate the switch and continue. Uh, Rhyme is fantastic. Abzu is out of this world. And if you give it a try, if you haven't played them, I guess it might not mean as much to you. The Life is Strange soundtracks, both of them, are fan, 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 fantastic. Let's see what I've actually got saved on here. <gasps> Burly Men at Sea is really cute. I've got my Spotify open. Life is Strange for the Storm. Oh my god. Um, the Dragon's Dogma soundtrack is actually incredible. Uh, Nights into Dreams. Uh, I have got the Persona one on here as well, just because I've added it. Uh, and Stardew Valley. That's actually really cute. That's great for the springtime. Like, just leaving that on is really, really fun. Uh, Abzu is by far one of my favourites. Oh, this is what you all need. Let me share copy playlist link boop and boop and let me paste so this is uh, a remix album it's made by art oh, it's not it's not official uh this one is this one is called um successor and basically famous they're famous um musicians in their own right they're not nobu maratsu but they take the classic songs and then put their own modern spin on it. Um, Force Your Way to Berlin is fantastic. Like, it's the best remake of Force Your Way ever. Uh, there is Meteor, I believe, is the one for Final Fantasy VII. Successor is Final Fantasy VIII. And there is two for Final Fantasy X. Um, there's the Besaid remix and... Oh, where is it? Yeah, it's um, Spira, music from Final Fantasy uh, X. There's the Zanakin mix and the Besaid mix. I think the Zanakin mix is meant to be more instrumental, where the Besaid mix is meant to be more experimental. And if you're into video game music, they're like free on Spotify. Give them a listen, that you'll be super, you'll love them. You'll really, really love them. If you, of course, if you're into, into Final Fantasy. If you're not, I suppose they're a bit lost on you. Let's see if I have enough for this one. I probably don't. Oh, I do. Gary Gary Fist will sort that one out for us. Come on, Gaza. Where are you? Oh, I need a medium. Five or great... Oh, okay. No, I need Dave. Come on, Dave. The, I, that's the one thing that made me sad about Dark Arisen 
was that they had changed the opening theme song. Oh, yay, we needed that for to complete that quest, and I will never say no to a Phoenix down. When they added those couple of songs um, to Final Fantasy XV, that was awesome. Yep. You're not the only ones who get way the stronger when you're piled up. See how you like this. Do their abilities change when they're stacked to that? Afraid to stop. Here goes. If you stop, he needs to stop underestimating the enemy before he defines himself. He has resisted that. That's rude. So you can see now my HP is so much higher because I'm in a full stack. Do you know what's next? I, I do actually, Nathan told me, but I can't tell you, but I'm not in it. I'm not in for the next few weeks because I haven't been able to get down there for filming. So um, yeah, such is life. I am set sooner soundtrack is lovely because it, um, but while that one's lovely, I recommend playing Lost Fear. So the idea with Lost Fear is it's very, very much like I'm set sooner, but instead of just being piano, they introduce um, strings into the soundtrack as well, uh, and it really does create something rather, uh, rather beautiful. I have the uh, deluxe vinyl for Persona 5 soundtrack. In fact, I've actually got the Katamari soundtrack on my record player as we speak. Yeah, I don't think Dark Arisen got much of a graphical overhaul. Um, it does look a lot better though. I did go back and have a look at the original. I was like, it does look a lot better. But yeah, you're not talking leaps and bounds. But then it just didn't need that. I was just, I was just so glad that it was on PS4 because it's such an un that is an underrated gem. Like, that's a massively underrated gem. I thought I was some kind of super genius coming up with all the answers on my own. I hate to the break it I have not seen One Punch Man. I don't watch as much anime as I should or used to. Whoa, hey now, come on. You don't have to look that broken hearted when you say it. <laughs> right, so, um, for things like this. You can go to the Mirage board. So this is a bit like your sphere grid in FF10. Um, we can level them up using the points they've earned. So here's Dave. Uh, we can teach him Libra. We could do single. No, support is like the chocobo is doing when it walks with us. But I don't need it to do that. So we, okay, nothing, nothing more for Dave. Cheers, mate. Nathan, what can Nathan learn? He's got four, a lot more things. Uh, so here we can add our own. So you could bit like on the, um, on the sphere grid, you can add spheres as well. Mm. But I haven't got enough for now. So I can add to that later on if I want to. All right, let's see what the Choco Chick can do. So Choco Chick's already got his, he can do Ram. Ooh, Cure. Yes, Cure, that's what we want. Let's see what Tam has got. Not quite enough of that, but I'm gonna come back. Another Cure won't hurt. No, self I'm not using at all. But hey ho. Oh Gary. He can learn to throw stones. And then here's your transfiguration, so that's how you sort of level them up. So let's just sort these stacks out. I 
I'm actually gonna swap Dave for the Choco Chick just because that Choco Chick's got Cure. So we've got Choco Chick and Gary Fest with us. But we haven't got the move for that, so we're just gonna we're gonna run on through. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, all Persona like Farm Fantasy, they're standalone. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, that's not the good. Uh, I don't really have a favorite band right so much. I listen to music and like just songs. When you see a threshold, you better watch out because the mirages inside are extremely the power. Great. And the worst part. If you cross it and lose a fight the inside, I can't use my powers to rewind time and extricate Great. you. No extrication? Guess we'd better be extra careful then. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, it sounds like if we're going in, we better go in fully prepared. That's the for sure. And don't forget to save your progress. Too. We're going to save the progress. We will save the progress, I promise. I use the old menu, so I don't need to worry. Yeah, my I keep all my vinyls in the other room. I don't keep them here. So the prism case is a bit like, you know when you go to a Pokemon center and you can access the computer? This is the same thing. So if you catch a monster in this game and you're full, it'll be sent to the prism case uh, and you'll have to go to one of the golden doors to access the case or a save point to swap them out. They don't, like Pokemon, they don't earn XP if they're in the prism case. So you have to think about what you're carrying. Uh, the ones you carry do earn XP by proxy. They earn 8% of the total amount of XP earned in your battle. So for Far Fantasy fans who have not played well Far Fantasy, this should, uh, you should like this bit. I haven't played Sleeping Dogs actually at all. I expected some foolhardy adventurer with a terminal case of curiosity. Oh, get like get in, just get in on Yakuza. It's so good. What's this? Well, look who's back. Ah, the half buns. If you're a good starting point for Far Fantasy on PS4. It's either Far Fantasy 15 or um, Far Fantasy 10 Remaster. Headset? I'm using the Steel Siri Arctis Pro, which is a PlayStation 4 headset. You haven't changed a bit. Huh? What's so funny? Oh, you're having a lawn moment. Guess I'll just add this one to the pile. Wait, what pile? There's a pile? Apparently, we've met the three of you before, although we don't remember it. You do not remember us? Really? No wonder they haven't summoned us. Then our course of action My bishies are calling. We must ensure that pecking order is pecking. I play a Tommy game. There's, there's this one and I'm addicted. Then demonstrate your strength now or else be destroyed! Hold now. Why must you two always let the blood rush? Don't skip 15. 15 was designed to be the entry point. If you don't play a lot of old games, if you go back and back and play something like 9 or 8, you will struggle. They're not modern. They haven't been modernized where they need to be. I always recommend playing 15. And if you like that, then go back into the more turn-based Final Fantasies, but start with 10 because it's been remastered. And it's got a speed to it which makes it feel more modern than its older especially ps1 sort of brothers what say we pit them against just one of us to keep things nice and fair hmm agreed then go on choose from among us and choose wisely choose for what time certainly has not made you any more clever what we're trying to say is the two of you are no match for all three of us at once which means right i get it thanks now Let's see. Huh? Wait, get what? Okay. 
Take your pick. Take your pick. Do you want Shiva, Ramu, or Ifrit? Uh, I don't think there's much difference in terms of difficulty because I'm so early on in the game, I don't think I've got much that is any good against any of them. I love it. 15 is my third favorite Final Fantasy game and I'm an old school Final Fantasy player. Okay, the fact the first three people have gone Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu isn't helping. That is true, FF Gamer. I could just do that. It's a bit of a cheat. I could just do it. Should we? Okay, Shiva seems to be the most popular, so I'm going to go with Shiva. If we die... Uh, then we're going to do Ramu and we're going to use the Earth Hammer. Here to play. I'll send chills up your spine and right through your heart with my diamond. Mm. Knock us cold for what? Help me out here. I hope this doesn't traumatize you. See how you like this. Critical? Not a bad start. Okay, we're gonna have to, uh, Foxfire. That should help us. Yes. I admittedly I don't miss turn based and, and and seriously if this one didn't have the fast forward button god I would struggle uh, the way I play games is really like sped up and really changed I don't want to throw a stone actually I need her to, to keep her uh, SP because she's gonna be my healer Ugh, I knew I wouldn't be able to do a fox fire okay let's just attack So you can see Lan's just not doing as much damage because he's not in a full stack, which does make a difference. That's also why his health is so much lower. But I do have to watch out because she will diamond dust me if I'm not careful. The, the fast forward button for this makes a huge difference. Like, a huge difference. You'll make a wonderful addition to my man. Oh, God. Diamond dust! Eesh. That, I... Yeah. Right. Let's get some heals. Heals and shields, as we would say in the... Uh, Final Fantasy 14 world. on a number of the Tales games. Uh, yes, the Tales games are very, very dear to my heart because of it. Uh, and Dragon Quest, uh, really, I've only properly played Dragon Quest Builders, but I am incredibly excited to actually get my hands on um, Dragon Quest XI when it finally comes out. Don't use a potion on Shiva. I could just do without that, you know? 
Oh, you missed! So basically, that hammer that I got from the chest earlier on, that is a one-hit kill against Ramu. So that's, you can kind of cheese it uh, against Ramu if you want to. Um, ev everything else is slightly more difficult because of it. I also haven't done anywhere near enough leveling up before I came in here because I'm on the live stream and I'm trying to make it look fun. Blessing Anakas. Uh, I was consumer and community PR executive. Uh, so I worked on Abyss, Graces F, Zillia and Zillia 2. In fact, when I left, uh, when I left Namco, my leaving present from uh, the Tales team, I have a handwritten thank you note from uh, Nao-chan, who worked with Baba-san. Um, Baba sent me the silver Tales of Zillia necklace as a thank you present. Uh, and it's in my... Uh, my display cabinet in the living room, which is where I keep a lot of really, really precious items. Yeah, I worked, I've worked on uh, a lot of stuff over at Namco. I worked on Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, uh, The Witcher 2. We were saying this the other day. I sent the press release for Cyberpunk. That's how long ago it was. Um... I worked on all kinds of Dragon Ball, all kinds of Naruto, One Piece. Nino Kuni was one of mine. Uh, yeah, I did work on Nino Kuni. Oh, thank God I healed him. Thank God I healed him. On the flip side, I'm going to be. Oh, it's not going to kill her, though, is it? All right, let's see what happens. Oh, if she diamond dusts again, it's all KO. Oh, this is my like last potion. Please, Foxfire. Yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, because I can handle, I can do a few different things uh, when I stream via um, XSplit, like the overlays you're seeing, like I, I can add those in and, and, and stuff. Uh, and I'm also using a professional streaming mic, or a professional recording microphone, uh, which isn't compatible with PlayStation because it's via our uh, DLX cable stuff. So yeah, there's lots of stuff. No, because there's so many games, and the reality is, if you know, if you if you're already playing a game and it's you know, 40, 50 hours, it's not hard to get a backlog of great games. Um, that was fun yeah. For what it was. A shame the two of you. Um, such as which accounts? Muggle number. Because we don't really have a lot of public accounts. We've really only got the YouTube channel. Our paths may cross before you know it. Bye bye for now. I'll definitely be playing Dragon Quest. Uh -huh. Like, What's this? definitely playing Dragon a Quest. Prismarium, duh. I know it's a Prismarium dummy. You didn't manage to imprison those tough mirages, but it looks the doing like your chores. Well done, doing your chores. Uh, I feel good, thank you very much. It's a nice sunny day, and I'm meeting I Rob and Dave this evening to go done. work at an event, which is actually really exciting because I don't get out of the house enough to do that anymore. So it's always exciting when I get to see them. Look. Oh, this one's Rob, isn't it? Definitely this one for Rob. Because it's frosty. <laughs> it's cold and frosty. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Fuzzy. Oh, that's really kind. That means a lot. It, re it really, really does mean a lot. So thank you. 
Yeah, that big in Japan sale is is by far my favorite sale. But yeah, but it's frosty like Rob. When did I meet PlayStation? In what sense? Like when did I meet Access or when did I Yeah. There's lots of really good wordplay in World of Final Fantasy as well, like puns and stuff. It's really well translated. The mirages of the nebula have been set free. And once again, time resumes. It does it like Jack Frost from Persona, actually. Oh, I had a PlayStation 1. Yeah. Well, uh, my friend had one, and I saw him playing Final Fantasy 8, so I begged my parents to buy me one, and then that's how I got to Final Fantasy. Thank you. It's because it's so when it's sunny, my my office is like a greenhouse. Behind these screens here are just three huge windows, and it's really warm. Uh, I can't tell you what I'm live streaming much ahead of time. So if you go to the Access YouTube channel and go to Community, I always post it in there, and it's normally the day before, because I tend to live stream games that aren't out. It actually can be quite difficult to source them and it can often be very last minute by the time everything's approved and signed off or you know on monday someone be like yeah yeah we should be able to get you that and you get to wednesday and we're like actually we can't supply it sorry um so it's actually really hard to announce this thursday stream game ahead of too far ahead of time um all right done let's get out of here this game is good back to your room in Ninewood Hills whenever you want to rest up and the recover HP. While we're there, we should stop by Chocolates and Sakabana. I still call her Chocobocalina because of uh Final Fantasy 13. If the one of your mirages has learned the stroll ability, it will follow you around in the field, just as the lawn as you included in your lineup. Speaking of the witch, I have that ability too. So if you no. always the one you are I don't Tama. I never got into the sword art games, they find them a bit too cookie cutter for me. Thank you for stopping by, Alexander. Much appreciated. Hey, what's up? Oh, just some news you may find of interest. <laughs> It'll blow your little mind. Why? Because you will never believe this. Yeah? Huh? All throughout Ninewood Hills, I have staked out some windways. Windways? <laughs> Steak! Now that you mention it, I'm starving. <laughs> you got anything else tasty on the menu? Oh, sure. Here you are. Uh, I'm good, thank you, I'm good. Today's special, the I'd say it's an underrated gem. We'll never get to the point. I don't, I do not think it got huh? anywhere near as enough uh, love and attention as it should have done. Uh, ever since its announcement, because it, even its announcement was overshadowed by uh, the Farm Fantasy VII remake. Yeah, fast travel. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to go there. So what if the food's a little gooey? I'll still eat it. We are not talking about food. 
I prefer, I prefer, uh, best area. Oh, thank you. Don't tell me you thought he was serious. Ah. <laughs> uh, I didn't really mind. To be honest, I get to pick the live stream, so I've sort of only ever really live streamed games I want to live stream. <laughs> Selfishly, uh, I've only ever done what I wanted to do. Uh, that's the one good thing about running the live streams on a Thursday, is I get to pick. Let's get back to it. Uh, I don't tend to stream horror games. It's just not my thing. I don't. I really just don't play horror games. Also, as people have learned, uh, I tend to clam up on horror games. I get real like eyes on the prize, just head forward kind of thing, and it's not very fun to watch, sadly. Um, uh, where Dave screams and shouts, I just get like, we're going, we're going. Uh, I did a VR horror game with Dave. Oh, I, I did it. Dave did it originally and the, the data corrupted. So then I did it the second time because Dave wasn't in. Um, so I, I did it and Nathan was just like, you're nowhere near as fun. Like where Dave would be like, oh my god, shall I open the door? I was like, open the door! And just like, Ugh! and would like run in, just like, don't you can't scare me! even though I'm absolutely terrified. Um, yeah. I'm just not I'm just not fun to watch by horror games because I'm just so... Uh, I don't play Fortnite. I don't only really play online competitive at all, actually. Uh, Nathan and Dave are the Fortnite players in our office and they play it quite a lot. Okay then, let's check in with Princess Sarah. It's the Bahamutian army! Again? What? You're here already? Oh, he looks fun, doesn't he? <laughs> VR games are really hard to stream because if I'm by myself doing it, I can't see anything. Like I can't check the streams running. Cause I've got two screens right now with everything open. It's it's actually a bit difficult for me. Perfect timing. We yeah, if you ever want to see me really angry, watch me play that VR horror game. Because I'm actually just an I just turned really nasty. I'm not I'm not fun to watch like Dave is. So what now? Seems to me we're going to have to nip this little problem in the butt. Oh, I'm skilly. Yeah, it does. It does. You've got to use Libra a lot. I'm seeing him later. I can tell him that Blakefish, yes. He'll do the rest. Huh? Me and Rain will sneak up on their boss and take him out. But everyone's got games about American Union. Games they don't like, and it doesn't mean they're bad games. It's just I don't like it. Everyone has them. exactly look it, but Lund's pretty good in a fight. Thing is, he used to get picked on for being such a pipsqueak. Please, as if you were ever any taller than me. Oh. Well, I might have oh, thank you, Adam. But yeah, I've just noticed a complete increase in comments being like, Holly looks so much better without with, with uh, less makeup on. And I'm just like, there's nothing changed about my makeup. Like, it's really worrying that people think I'm wearing less makeup. And it's complete. It, it's, yeah, it's actually really worrying that people look at those Tuesday checks and like, yeah, she look, she's wearing less makeup. Bloody not. Boy, did they make him cry. But... After I whipped him into shape, he never lost I have a different head. approach to Dave. That's what that is. But that's not I'm not braver than Dave. I have a different approach to fear. Bully destroying machine. He just literally never picked a fight he couldn't win. Really? Oh, I have two. His threat assessment skills were uncanny. He always knew the odds. <laughs> Call 
it natural cowardice. Hey, watch it. Salon. How about it? Do you think we can beat those guys? Piece of cake? Well, not a piece of cake. More like a very large sliver of cake. Well, there you have it. I think you're wondering, it's Are Anna Nicole by Jeffree Star. And surprisingly, it is my favorite shade of red. We must act. It is only a matter of it, it is almighty. It actually is. It, it's the same makeup I do every day. We will fight. Which is why that comment's also hilarious. What a weird thing to remember. I know someone bullied Lon. But yeah, oh my god, like do? I would have just said I would have just constantly been shouting the F word if we weren't on camera when I was playing that horror game. And I'm I and I Jack, I genuinely mean that. I would have just been cussing the whole way round. Um Goblins haven't made any moves against us just. Hello there. Are you the keepers from the prophecy? I'm captain of the Cornelian Army First Brigade. Yeah, you are. Princess Sarah has appointed us as band. I love the little kids. They're like, "Oh, you're captain of the guard." Sure, you are. Informed of the particulars. The town is tiny because we're little kids. Yeah, the my X split is stuttering, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's not the game. It's not the game. It's the stream. Um, there's nothing I can do. I'm afraid. I've already reset the stream once. If it's really bad, I can try and reset the stream again. Uh, it won't make any difference for you guys, but I'll just it'll just go black for about 30 seconds while I reboot. You won't have to do anything, it'll just come back on. Do you like instant noodles? Not pot noodles. Uh, Bloodborne's really not a horror game. Um, it's in a very, very dark setting, but I really wouldn't call Bloodborne horror. Yeah, so don't, don't, um, don't let that one hold you back. If you've played, if you've played Dark Souls, I enjoyed it, then you'd be fine with Bloodborne. That probably does sum it up, yeah. I'm fight and Dave is flight. Um, the least favourite thing about this game? Probably because I'm a JRPG connoisseur. That uh, I do need it to be a little bit... I like my games quick, which is why I tend to move away from turn base into live action. But it does have a fast forward button, so that kind of helps. Okay. The witch and boosh. Oh, yeah. According to the Vanguard's reports, many of the enemy forces are capable of inflicting blindness. It impairs your eyesight and causes your weapon attacks to miss more Great. frequently. Although, thankfully, magical attacks remain unaffected. Oh, why don't you take these eye drops? They'll clear up your vision in no time flat. <laughs> Oh, that means they're moderators. The little wrench means they're moderators. It's FF Gamer and Domino are community moderators here. And then we have the professional moderators who act under the PlayStation Access username. Whoever the mirages are beholden to must be close. So with those chains, that means I can't 
Theo. Stop it. I can't uh, capture them. A bit like, you know when you're in a Pokemon battle and you can't catch somebody else's Pokemon? Uh, this is the same. I love instant ramen. I eat a lot of instant ramen. Like a lot, actually. There just isn't any in the cupboard at the moment. I should probably sort that out. Alternative, if you... If you've loved Final Fantasy XV, I know it sounds daft and they're not JRPGs, but do make sure that you have played both Dragon Age Inquisition and the Mass Effect series. Uh, do that. I really recommend that. Otherwise, if you haven't, oh, I'm sure you have, get on Persona 5. I absolutely make sure you checked out Persona 5. Otherwise, Nino Kuni 2 is fantastic if you're a JRPG fan as well. And do keep your eyes out on Dragon Quest 11, which is coming out soon. Uh, very, very much keep your eyes on that. Uh, we don't have any larges yet. So what I might do is sort out his uh, stack. Oh, we've only got Gary. Hmm. What's Jack Frost got then? What's Rob got? Can he Libra? He can chill. Oh, he can level up to do Diamond Dust. That tells me, I think, a lot about what I... Yeah, that tells me a lot about him. Why is it two bad brothers in here? I'm not sure I understand. This definitely not, it's not complicated. The game huh? starts you. This thing seems uh, really, really gentle. It explains everything. If you read Blood, Sweat and Pixels as well, you get a whole new level of respect for Dragon Age Inquisition. Like a whole new level of respect. <gasps> Don't do that. Yeah, I did it on the live stream here. Oh, I love Nino Kuni. No oh, yeah. I'm not just saying that because I worked on the first one. <laughs> I really love it. Dragon Age Inquisition I've put a disgusting amount of time into. And like, same for Mass Effect. Uh, every... Every... I just romance the same people every time. Like, I can't bring myself to be different. This thing seems uh, I'm using SteelSeries Arctis uh, Pro, which is the PS4 ones. Battery life's actually pretty good, but it comes with two batteries. And the other battery is literally just lives in the lives in the charging dock, so you've always got two charge batteries. Oh no, it's, it's this side then. There you go. So yeah, you just change them over. I use them because I don't get they don't give me headaches with my glasses. Even though I'm not, I'm not got glasses on now, obviously. Just leave him alone. Your mum has a good taste in games. Mass Effect, it's always Caden. Uh, Garrus is your best friend. I have like a whole theory about this, but it's always Caden. Tighten it. Just literally undo it here. And it's like little Velcro and just tighten it. That's all you gotta do. I actually loosened mine uh, from how it came. I should have known that wasn't the last of them. That's what I was after. Uh, abilities.
Oh, you can't do that outside now. Mass Effect Andromeda is really, really good. Um, I don't think it deserved the hate it got, personally. No, Garrus is like, and I will explain it like this. Caden is a nice, safe option. That's why we romance Caden. Nice and safe. It's all good. And then the reason we romance, that we don't, is we don't, ah, oh, everyone's just killing the Mandagoras. Have to unstack. Um, I'm a sec. Uh, I'm sack. Yeah, so uh, the idea is like Caden's a nice, reliable one. And Garrus is like the one that, that you go out for a drink with on like a Wednesday and you go for one drink after work and then you're crawling in at 2 a.m. But Caden's the one that'll hold your hair back and will uh, make you a bacon sandwich in the morning. I, I've like, I've, I've worked all of this out. Did that kill it? Oh, you little imprisonment. I'm going to get this. Uh, so you can see by... Uh, oof. By unstacking, I can then use... Everyone's weaker, so if I need to get a creature that I'm going to one-hit KO, I can unstack. The gore get. I can unstack and it'll affect how powerful I am, making oh, it easier for me to catch them. Wasn't so bad. The thing is, the thing like that, Dizzy, is I, I, I mean, we'd have to admit that we wouldn't know where to start. That would be a problem. We actually do want to do some more accessibility stuff with, um, uh, with special effect actually in the, in the future. So this one's going to be dealt. We don't have a Delson, right? And it's already built in. We're gonna. This one's Delson. I accident. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh, I'm really wondering. I'm really, really glad you listened. You heeded our warning. Um, because yeah, you accidentally end up with Arn, and then you've missed out on Makoto. Who is best girl? Now we're just arguing about Persona. Right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm calling this one Delson. It's nothing cruel. They're living their best life. Give me that chest. I knew there was a chest back here. Played RPGs before. The enemy commander has taken position further up the plains. Yeah, yeah, chocobos. Kawamaki. That's an odd one. Right, let's just check. We need. I want to get the Mandagora in. I think the Mandagora is a small, however. Choco Chick, Dave, Nathan, Sylph, Delson. Yeah, he's a small. Mm. All right, let's let's just. Because our HP is not great on a lot of these, so let's have a little look at the Mirage board and just do some leveling up quickly. Do I have a switch? Yeah, I just don't use it. Uh, I still, I genuinely still use my Vita. All right, we'll learn Ram because it's always good to have a topple, a topple maneuver. What's Rob got? Come on, Rob. Blizzard and chill. So the moves like chill, you can actually use in the world to help you like get to places on the map you couldn't access before and stuff like that. They're quite useful moves. Hello little Mandagora, little Delson. Stroll, so he can actually walk with us. Uh, leaf. That's quite a good one. Because we don't have any of that. Best chocobo in all Final Fantasy games? It's Iori, my chocobo in 14. Obviously.
Okay, that means Tamar's now got Cure, which is really useful. Which means I can swap out the one on my head. It's like, what's Dave bringing to the party? Not a lot, mate, are you? Stroll. What are you doing with that, hun? Do I want to let him protect or double smash protect, actually? If I'm being sensible, I should probably just let him protect. Okay. Type 0 was highly underrated and once again got pushed down because it was like, oh, if you buy Type 0, you get episode... You get the second... Is, it, is that how Episode Dusk Guy came about? Or was it a different demo? It might have been Episode Dusk Guy. Uh, which was the Final Fantasy 15 demo. Yeah, yeah, so there's certain abilities that will open up. So that one that uh, Rob learned, uh, if there was like a pool of lava, we could cool it and then we could walk over it. And there are certain dungeons where those things are just really useful. So I'm in uh, the giant forms. So I'm actually gonna trade out my Choco Chick for something else. I'm actually gonna trade it out for Rob or Delson, Rob or Delson. Tama would be best, annoyingly. I don't want double Nathans. It's just because Tamma's level is so much higher. I think I take Robin just because he's got some ice moves and I think that would be beneficial. It's nice just to play games that I enjoy on live streams. You are on my live stream, girl. You are. We've got a nice quiet live stream today. It was only about 400 of us. Uh, there was like one and a half thousand for God of War and it was just, you couldn't really have a conversation. It was too difficult. Oh my God, that Resi Evil House was horrific. I've still not forgiven Dave for not being free for that evening. Yeah, Rob will eventually be Shiva if we level him up enough. And I, I feel like that's that's right for him. If you've got any questions about the game, just read the um, read the description for this video. There's always a stream FAQ, a little bit about the game, you know, where you can get it from. Maggie, Maggie, fine line, my friend, fine line. Ooh, that one's got a little, little stack. Oh, see, we've got Blizzard now. Now we've got Rob on our head. Stunning, stunning work, team. It really, you know what? World of Final Fantasy is a lovely little game. It really, really is. And what I like is it walks a really fine line between being people like me, older Final Fantasy fans, uh, and then being for people, like the idea is then it's like people are age who've had kids and then they want their kids to start playing Final Fantasy. This is also meant to be a great way in for them. And it's really hard to make a game that both adults and kids can play in love at the same time without losing something for either uh, and that's what World of Final Fantasy does really well. Uh, I'm just going to use a potion. So I haven't got many. I don't tend to play board games. My friends were really into them but it's not so much of a thing for me. Um, I'm very much a game. I'm like a very much a digital, you know what I mean, gamer rather than a uh, tabletop.
never played a Final Fantasy game if I wanted to get into it. I don't know if I would... This, I wouldn't say maybe this is always the best way. Uh, but you will do no harm from starting with something as cute as this. It really is Final Fantasy meets Pokemon. Good timing. Some of my soldiers swore they'd seen the princess on the battlefield. I suppose I got a bit. Suppose careless. you did, mate. Uh, princess Sarah was here. What? No way. That can't be right. I'd like to think so, but knowing her. Oh, that is crazy, Blake. Possible. Still, we must focus on the task at hand. Don't worry about me. You two should press. We on. will. Up ahead, you will find the Bahamutian soldier in charge. He leads the goblins. Now, I've not played this particularly well because I definitely don't have enough uh, potions on me. Uh, I could really do with some more potions, so... Uh, any boss battles for me, I'm afraid, could be quite difficult. We'll see. Five x is good. I really enjoy it. Like I said, it's in my top three. Poking each other like I don't read One Piece, no. I worked on the games and that was enough for me. Okay, here we go. Oh, I want one of these. Alright, let's Well for now, let's at least get rid of some of them. Uh abilities. Libra, what do I need to do? Physical attacks, okay. So I'm gonna take one more of them out, just so they're not causing me too much issue. I feel really bad hurting these things. All right, let's unstack. And you unstack. I was gonna say, if, you, if your critical just killed that, you're in so much trouble. American. Yeah, we got it. Yay. This one's going to be Dan. Because we don't have a Dan yet. Uh, community and PR executive. So I did PR and community management. I worked at Bandai. Although we called it Namco back then. The names changed. We were Namco Bandai UK. Namco Bandai Games. And then it was Namco Bandai Entertainment. Now it's Bandai Namco Entertainment, I believe. Or Bandai Namco Games. Names changed a lot. Right, you're going to be called Dan. Because we don't have a Dan yet. See what moves he's got. Well, you got Dan. I mean, you're only level one. That is Dan's problem. Sizzle, burn obstacles or light fuses. It's quite cool. I've got some fire attacks, which I don't. Well, the goblins are actually weak to them. Some items, there aren't any. Oh, I better save him. No, it's actually separate gaming mule. So, Bandai, that like the toy division, we don't have anything to do with them. So, no, I, I didn't really. Now and again, they'd pop in for meetings and they'd bring, uh, they'd, they'd bring us some toys, but we didn't officially have anything to do with them. Nine just doesn't need anything. I'm just not into nine. Is 
really need to catch another medium one just to give him a better stack. Ah, oh, Rob's leveling up nicely. He's on level 5 already. That's good. No, Dan Dan is very much more behind the scenes than he is in front of them. Thanks for the help just now. You two are going out against the enemy command. Take this. Please be some potions. Oh, don't need any tha. I need potions. We won't let Uh, no, I didn't. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. As I said, I, I'm community. I'm PR. Uh, thank you, Lacey. It is Anna Nicole by Jeffrey Star. Point, normally signalling the a larger upcoming battle. So this is great, it automatically throws your save data up onto the server. And you can obviously turn that off. But then that way, if I also had it on Vita, uh, I can just pick it up and it'll have my save data on it. Here. <laughs> I guess she's the hands on type. It's a wall of. Why are you waving? Your Highness, behind Focus. Huh? Look out! Are you all right, Highness? Uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, schmuck. We gotta find a way down there now. But we can go around. If we're fast enough, we. No, there's no time. Princess! No! <laughs> Disney magic. Yeah. Warrior of light. I worked my way up. I'm a midwife. That's what I did at university. And I was a midwife for two years full time before I, uh, I was doing stuff for a video game website on the side as a hobby. Uh, I was just building up experience and I just gave my business card to the European Vice President of Bandai Namco and just said, if anything comes up, think of me. And they did. They gave me a call, went for a catch up and I woke up with a job offer. And then I became consumer and community PR executive for Bandai Namco Games. Good captain. From this day on, you shall be called the warrior of light. Me? Legends of Cornelia tell of others like you. Nameless heroes with great power in their hearts. So yeah, if you're into Final Fantasy, lots and lots of the Final Fantasy characters from the whole series are in it. Uh, and it's really, really good fun. Like you go to Balam Garden and as an ape fan, like that's amazing. One with the potential to become this realm. Midgar. Champion. Yeah. Wait, a medium? A champion? Champions arise at critical points in time where they awaken unexpectedly to their miraculous power. Candidates who hide this light within them, this strength, we call them mediums. The warriors of light, of course, are unique to Cornelian I'm sure they are. Mediums for other champions can still be found throughout Grimoire to this day. Incredible. So I'm really one of them? Yes. There is no mistake. I think the light Lon and Rain said it was a sort of revelry. Like I've been sleeping my whole life and finally woke up. 
Do you have that power? Do you have the ability to awaken mediums as champions? Hmm. I wish we knew. Like I said, we don't remember all that much about who we are. Wait, the city is just on. not for me. I, I don't. That's just not my type of game. So yeah. Uh, the Balam Garden song uh, is my alarm in the morning. That's what I listen to every morning. This looks fun. Oh, this is, yeah, you can also summon some of the characters in battle as well. So you can like summon like lightning and stuff. Come on. It looks like the soldier's human. Don't get carried away. Rain, I'm shocked. I don't pick on people weaker than me. <laughs> I just had to make sure. <laughs> Seriously, what do they feed him anyway? So I straight up do not have enough health potions with me, and I probably don't have the right stack either. So this is going to be really tough. Throw a Libra down, see what we've got. Like, literally nothing of help. Like, it's not weak against anything. Okay. The thing is, people say Squall is whiny. I'm like, oh, did you, did you not, did you not meet Cloud? got the download I think I'd sort of stopped playing this by then oh no we've toppled great okay you've got to go first Get out of here. Uh, right. aren't chickens like they're just they're the horses of the final fantasy world like they used like horses so don't think of them like chickens battle and we will be finishing up. Uh, Chocobo Mystery Dungeon, uh, I do believe, never made it to the west. 
Or maybe it just didn't make it to EU. Some of them made it to NA and not over to me, which is always an issue. Oh, you absolute... Oh, that was my worry that he was going to go after him. Stop wobbling now. I'm not in the mood. Thank you very much. All right. Victory. Ta -da. Oh, everyone's leveling up. We're having a festival of level ups. That's that is testament to how under leveled I am. Lightning Returns is the best of the 13 series. I am out. Uh, it's amazing. You can't catch the big guy. No, no, because he belongs to somebody else. Uh, what are we doing? Big YouTube. There we go. There we go. It's four o'clock. Uh, so that is where we end the stream. We always do two hours. Uh, in fact, I am going off to go meet Robin and Dave actually a little bit later for an event. So, uh, we're going to leave it there for today. So yeah, sorry about that, Ruby. Um, oh, become Alex. I'm, I'm sorry you're late too, but it is the end, I'm afraid. That, that is it. Um, but yeah. It was nice to do something a little bit different. Um, for now, I'm going to continue to try and find and play new games on the Thursday stream because that's kind of what I want to do with the Thursday one. But yeah, playing playing some like underrated gems, games that we loved, I think is a really, really nice way. And in fact, if we do more live streams, I'd love to make it a permanent, a permanent live stream um, where we can just pick some really fun things. Um, as always, thank you to our moderators. It's Domino and FF Gamer who are our community moderators. And thank you to the moderators there uh, at PlayStation as well, who are currently working as PlayStation Access. So thank you. It's very kind of you for your support. I know it's two hours out of your day every Thursday. Uh, and I know FF Gamer is a full-time streamer himself. So uh, it's really nice that you always take your time to support us. So thank you guys very much. Um, as always, I'll be back or one of us will be back next Thursday from two o'clock UK time. Uh, in fact, there might even be a bonus stream coming up in the next few weeks. We're not sure. We're still waiting to hear about it. It's very hard to book things in in advance because things move a lot. Uh, so we will see. Uh, but yeah, uh, Cat Quest is bloody amazing. Uh, Cat Quest would be a good one. Galgan 2, I'm not playing Galgan 2. I can tell you that right now. Don't no matter how much you and Domino ask for it. Um, it's not a day off if you're working on this stream though, is it, FF Gamer? It's not a day off then. Right, uh, thank you very much everybody. We'll be back next week with another live stream. You can just check the community tab on the PlayStation Access YouTube channel to see what we're up to because that is always where we post what we're doing. Um, I'm so thrilled I made laundry folding enjoyable. I have a massive pile of laundry that I've hidden behind that sofa bed so that you wouldn't see it. And I'm going to go do it now. Anyway, thank you very much everybody and I will I will see you all